Hello and welcome to my first die cast review. Today's review will be on Haley Deegan's number 17 Ford Built Tough Toter 2020 F-150. It's a nice truck. Uh, I'm really happy I got to pick this up. It was at the Lionel store and I was really surprised to see it. I got a few other ones that have not been released and I saw others that I wasn't able to pick up, sadly, that have not been released either. Something I would like to point out, why does Haley Deegan always get her own custom boxes? Why can't these be on these? I mean, I just don't get it. But let's just go ahead and get the die cast out of the box. I finally got the die cast out of the box. And this is a very, very beautiful die cast. Please do me a favor and go get it. Whether you get it at Circle B Diecast, Lionel Racing, anywhere, or your local Diecast dealer, please pick this truck up. It is amazing. But let's get let's get on to the Diecast review. So up here on the name banner, you have Haley Deegan. Then on the side, you can see how the paint scheme is just you can see a kind of a dark gray stripe going on the side. And a kind of green looking check right there. That's more for the Monster Energy sponsor, which they, of course, can't put that on the die cast, which is sad. I really wish we could get a Monster die cast for Deegan or even Kurt Busch. But we have, we have that. And then, of course, the primary color is this gloss black on it. But all the sponsors on here, we have Goodyear. You have the Gander RV and Outdoor Truck Series. Ah, still hard to say that. So glad they changed the camping world. Well, we have the Gander Truck Series logo right there. We have number 17. We have the Ford Built Tough. We have the Ford logo and the Ford Performance logo right beside that. We have the Toter built for, built for extremes. Then we have all the little contingencies on the side and stuff. Then getting around to the front of the die cast, we got the Ford F-150 grill, the number 17 right here. Then on the hood, as you can see, we have Ford built tough and then hashtag trucking into 2021. Then we have these teeth. I'm not really sure what the point of those teeth are. They look cool and that's all I care about and I think that's all we should care about. But, and then we get on to the right side, which is just the same as the left. Then, as we get on to the back of the truck, we have the Ford logo and then hashtag trucking in the 2021. The Ford Michigan license plate. The rookie stripes on the side. This, of course, was last year. And she now drives the one car and she's full-time. She ran this truck at Kansas Motor Speedway last fall which is the only reason she's even able to race this year then let, let's go ahead and get to the die cast and then on the deck clip we have ford built tough and then the rest of it's blank i believe there were supposed to be monster logos all around there i believe there's a monster logo right up here and on the sides i might be wrong on that please correct me if i am then we just have the deegan name banner right there on the back glass. And then you have these little lights right here. Then on the roof, we just have this number white, white 17 with a green outline over it. I really like that little green outline. It really adds some character to this die cast. But then we get to the front and there's your, if it can focus, there we go. Gander RV and Outdoors Truck Series banner. Looks really, really good right there. But yeah. There's this die cast. If it it'll if it'll focus. There we go. Here it is. With all its glory. Very, very beautiful die cast, as I said at the start. Really, when it comes out, please, please, please pick this thing up. I think it'll be rare in the future, so you better get it now before it sells out. 
but with all that being said i might go i'm gonna go ahead and end this diecast review but thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and then here's a little sneak peek of what what'll be in the next die cast to be if you can see that there we go so be sure to look out but i'll see you in my second die cast review